What's up, y'all? Got some Phillies injury news for you guys today. Kirkering will start the year on the injured list. I don't think that's very surprising. From all the reports we've heard so far, had the flu earlier this spring, has still not really recovered from it, and I think that's for the best. He still needs some time to ramp up. Uh, hopefully he gets back to form soon enough, and, and you just got to be glad it's not an arm thing, it's not an elbow thing, right? Like, that is something that he will recover from fully, and he will join the team when the time is right. So take the, all the time you need. It's a long season, and if anything, you know, I, I don't think this is the best way to look at it, but I guess you could argue it. It maybe limits his innings throughout the year, but again, that depends on other injuries. Like, it, it might still even out as the year goes on because he might have to pitch more at certain points when other guys are hurt. Who knows? But point being, it's for the best that he starts the year on the IL. Tywin Walker now apparently felt some discomfort in his arm today. He has not been throwing at high velocity. This spring, as we've seen, it's been around 88 to 92. And obviously last year in the early innings, he was not throwing at high velocity. There was rumblings here and there about a hamstring issue and, and other things throughout the year. And now this spring he comes in and is not throwing at the velocity we need him to throw at. And, and now he's feeling some discomfort. It all kind of adds up. And that would open up a spot in the rotation, which Rob Thompson said Spencer Turnbull would fill at the start of the season if Walker had to go on the IL. And that makes the most sense, right? Turnbull has been pitching well. Uh, you know, obviously it takes some time for the control to come back from Tommy John surgery, but I think it looked better this spring. I think the velocity still needs to get a little bit higher, but overall I still felt like it's very playable, and I felt like his slider and curveball looked very good this spring. He looked very good today against the Yankees, obviously. And look, his changeup's one of his better pitches too. I think he's got a good pitch mix to go into the start of the season with, he always has, but I think it all looks good now, right? Like it looks like it's better than it was last year. Um, and I, I feel good about him starting this season as one of the guys in the rotation. And I think he should be fine in that role. How he does over the full season or the, the whole course of the season, I don't know. We're going to find that out, right? Like that's one of the questions we have to figure out come trade deadline or as the season progresses, if you have to make a move sooner than that. Uh, but point being, I, I feel fine with him going into the season. There's going to be some rumblings of Jordan Montgomery. A lot of people are going to say that. Look, on a short-term deal for the right price, I would do it, but I still think it's going to be a little too pricey for us to, to be in those sweepstakes. It would make a lot of sense now that if Walker does go in the IL, but at the same time, I would just rather see Turnbull start the season, given that he he costs us nothing, at least for right now, and I just think it makes a lot of sense. He's already been in the building, too, for a month now. Uh, if Again, like I said, if the right deal comes along, I'm fine with Montgomery joining the rotation, but keep in mind, he's also not going to be ready to go the first week either, right? Like he, I'm sure he's been training, but you still need time to ramp up. You still need time to prepare yourself for that first start of the season. So he would probably need a little bit of time. In the grand scheme of things, that's not a major concern, but just thought I'd give my two cents there. As far as the bullpen goes now, if you have Turnbull, who was potentially competing for the long man role, I believe he would have had to agree to go down to AAA to start the season. Um, I think that was part of the terms of his contract. But point being, he let's assume that Walker does go on the IL and play the hypothetical scenario out here. He would go to the rotation, obviously, as Rob said, and that opens up two spots in the bullpen now, with Kirkring out, too. That also opens up another spot. And you have Connor Brogdon, Junior Marte, uh, Jose Ruiz, and Luis Ortiz all competing for those final two spots. Now, based off of what we've seen in spring so far, I'm just going to say right off the bat, I would probably go Jose Ruiz and Luis Ortiz. Those would be my two picks right now. I think as far as Brogdon goes, I'll, I'll talk about the other two first. So Brogdon, we've seen what he can do. I think his changeup is great when he's at his peak. It's just last year was not very good, unfortunately. Uh, he didn't help himself today. He didn't have a good outing versus the Yankees. And at best, I think he's a low leverage guy, right? That I, I always liked him in that role when he was performing well in that role in 2022. I thought he did fine in the playoffs when we needed him to. He wasn't really in any major spots outside of maybe the Braves game, you could argue. Um, I think it was game one of that series in 2022. But point being, I don't know if he's a guy who's going to be in that, that uh, bullpen by the year's end. As far as Junior Marte goes, I certainly think he has looked good in spring. I think he's had his moments, and I think he will pitch with the Major League Club at some point this year. There's going to be injuries. I think he's going to be one of the first call-ups. I wouldn't be surprised if he's the first guy called up for a bullpen spot. That's what happened last year, right? He, he kind of bounced back and forth between the majors and minors. And I think he will pitch with us at some point this year. And I, I think there's a lot of potential there. The sinker is very good. Uh, he obviously throws at pretty high velocity. And I think the slider has potential. It's just he's got to command it and control it better. 
you know, I, I haven't really kept a close enough eye on that this spring to know whether he's doing that better or not, but we will find out as the season progresses. But he has minor league options, so I think they're probably going to use that and just have that luxury of having the depth in the bullpen in the minors. So I think he will start the year in AAA. And to me, that leaves Jose Ruiz and Luis Ortiz as the other two guys there. Luis Ortiz, with Turnbull now being in the rotation, if Tywin Walker does go on the IL, I think he's going to be that guy who's going to eat innings, be the long man in the bullpen, and I think that makes a lot of sense. I think he, can, he certainly can do it. In that mop-up role, Kobe's on the IL, I believe, too. I think Ortiz could very like I, I think he would be fine in that role. I, I don't expect anything major, like any major contributions out of him as the season moves forward, but I think he would be fine filling that role to start the season. Ruiz is interesting to me. You know, he, he's a guy who definitely can get it up there in velocity. Uh, he's got a couple other pitches that play well for him too. The Phillies have taken him on as another kind of kind of one of their projects as the spring has gone on, and I think it would serve them well to give this guy a shot to start the season. There is some upside there. If it doesn't work out, you move on, you admit your mistake, right? But I think you give him a, a chance to start the season and see what he can do, and you go from there because you just never know sometimes. I'm not saying he is the Hoffman of this year. I think Hoffman, he did have some some strong flashes before he came to Philadelphia, and there was a lot of upside there with uh, the pitch makeup and, and the stuff he had. So I, I think it's tough to – a lot of people, I think, want to label a guy as, oh, this is the Hoffman guy this year. just doesn't happen that often. But the Phillies have obviously shown they can develop some guys, uh, especially pitchers. Caleb Hoffman has done wonders with – a lot of the pitchers they brought in. And I would like to see if Ruiz can be one of those guys too. So that would be my, those, those would be my two choices for the last two spots in the pen as of right now, as we are winding down spring training here. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. We're live weekly. Um, we do hour long Phillies pods slash live streams every week. We're going to be doing a lot more of them now as the season gets going, probably more than one a week and keep an eye out. we got a hype video coming. We're going to have a 26 man roster reaction. If, if it's not out yet, we'll do a projection on it, which will be pretty easy at this point. We'll just kind of go through all the guys. We're going to have an opening day preview. Um, we're going to have a lot of stuff, a lot of post-game reactions. We're going to try to go live post-game every game to start the year. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate y'all. Um, make sure to tune in for all the content, like, subscribe, and appreciate you guys. God bless y'all. Have a good one.